So why did you choose a hospital for your thesis? Well, that was, uh, I had to choose it. I can establish something. But I think a hospital is always in use and needed in a country like Iraq. In fact, the head of the Prime Minister of Bezaz called the Bezaz, it was open. We decided to build 100 health centers all over Iraq. And I contacted, there was a French company that was, that helped. You know, many people come to our office and try to want to promote you. And when they heard about this, they, could, they said, we're ready to do it if you like. We prefabricated already. And uh, we succeeded and we got the members from the planning board, the director of health, rural health, uh, our office. And they took, we went to Paris to see their work. And they made us a good, nice sample of two types. A, for a bigger, B, for a smaller rural areas, and with a number of beds. And the A, like I said yesterday, and Abu Dhabi, and, and, and uh, Bukhrain. That was one, that's again. Now, and that was accepted and awarded then these gentlemen or something happened to the budget. It was $10 million. That was a great number at that period. Now, after 70, after two or three, they promised the new Iraqi people they were going to do the 100,000. And nothing happened. So you built some of them? We built the three. From the hundred when they canceled, we built the, the health center, the Department of Rural Health said, ask us, why don't we start samples? So we built them. One in north, near Mosul, it's called Badush, which is now part of the fight with the ISSS. And one in Abu Ghraib, which is a part of uh, the city now, and one in uh, what they call Shat al Arab, you know, Arab, uh, that is across the river, and it, uh, where the university was very close. Now, I mean, later on, the university was built close to that area. I wanted to talk about the hospital that you designed yes. when you were at USC, and partly because it uses the same the same concrete domes yes. that you designed in the mosque. Yes, here. Exactly. In fact, the, the concrete domes. If, if you look at the early sketches in the concrete mosque, there were small ones that continue from the entrance. I felt I, I want an added connection to be uh, to protect people as part of really uh, uh, my conclusion that really there is a need and if you look at the uh, civic center which I designed uh, I made the same I made an arcade that connects all these people that uh, mm -hmm. proposed uh, uh, building that served the public and it was done in such a way that when they connect them they create courtyards between buildings in this courtyard each building can extend their services outside such as you know people can have what they call Ardahaji people can write them their objection and things like that that was very well used but I still uh, convinced them that a necessity for people moving uh, protection. Now, in some street, the city ordinance in Baghdad asked for projection on the 
So you can see many of the buildings have a projection and uh, with limited height. The ordinance of started, uh, my experience with it started when there were, uh, we did uh, a few buildings on the new Jumhuriya Street in Baghdad. And so they had a recess and uh, uh, the height is about, uh, uh, about the low mezzanine. Now, in the old, uh, very famous Rashid Street, they did have, in fact, they had it rather than cantilever, they had arches and things like that, continuous. Was the hospital designed for a particular site? Or well, the site is, is really, I didn't have a site, I just, it's an, an open system, and I just wanted to show that how you can control climate, and that's the only thing. There's no uh, communication with the government and respond at that period is not so easy. So once you went back to Baghdad, your first competition project was also for a hospital? Yes. Uh, when I first, I think I sent you the detail. When I went back, at first, let me say, added, I joined my uh, a colleague who uh, graduated from Texas, who got his master from Texas, architecture and master, so it took him all your year and went directly to London. He has his own office, uh, only himself. So, so at first I had to contact someone. So he was my first contact, and together we made, made an office. And I remember he was doing quite well, but not the, the things that I think we should do. I, I felt more ambitious in the work. He didn't share in any competition, at, but he did good work. He knew he he knew well about actual construction system used in the projects he did. So he had at the time two houses, one for his relative, for a famous doctor, uh, a relative, and one uh, for the dean of, of medical school. Now he said, you do that, I did the medical school. The system at the time, the prevailing system of construction, was uh, they call jack arching. That they use, I guess it's a sort of a development from the old wood and filling in between. But this time they used steel and with brick and gypsum which is prevalent in Iraq, and they are quick setting, so the contractor can put them right like this, create it, and they fill on the bottom, on the top. The top usually for insulation is sort of using clay, and then the, the brickwork. Now I felt this should be added. So what I did, uh, I can draw it. The arching was sort of like this, and they fill and they fill this area, and then they finish. So this is from like an insulation. And what I did, I thought, okay, why not make a bit better use of this? So what I did, I made it like this. And even if he did like this, and I asked him to fill, the same. Now that needs a support. So at the end, I used concrete to hold this area from sliding. You had done a hospital for your thesis project, and then your first competition project 
Yes. In Iraq was also yes. for a hospital. Yes. This was an early one of the first of them establishing my office. And there was a competition, and I thought after seeing the architecture scene back there, and the quality, I thought I can be a challenge. The Orient, the English at that period, I thought to be a good challenge. I had some experience, I had some good references at the time. You know, uh, the American uh, had a design standard at that period whereby uh, uh, each room and all the facilities, all the connections, all the sizes, the number, <coughs> all of that. So we use this, basically, the main building is a proper hospital with uh, uh, nursing centers and corridors, and this is the standard. Normal, I and mean, we didn't do uh, beyond this really well organized, uh, but it was efficient in an open way that enhanced uh, the work of the staff. And enhancing, I mean, uh, architecture solution does not really uh, uh, treat health, but it's a health problem, but it can provide an, an area where you can uh, the facility and good quality enhance the performance of the people involved in carrying this and, and reaching uh, the, uh, uh, the patient in a proper way. So this was uh, the, qual the good quality can reflect, it doesn't, it, it can carry the message better to the easy, to, uh, easier for the staff to carry their duty to pass it to the patient. Now, in that program, there was, of course, uh, the same folded plates, uh, a crown of the project, but at the same time, there was a specific a gathering space for the families. And that I thought would be very interesting to create something reminiscent of, of tents. And that's why I, I did this and I think there was other drawing for this that shows this form. Unfortunately, the uh, the, uh, they did the, the basic, they did the foundation, like many other projects, and suddenly, for a budget or other, they, they cancelled the job. They, they, they didn't replace it. And that job in Mosul, with all these facilities you see outside, we, uh, was, was built by uh, Egyptian contractor. So we had people going, we have to make a proper visit every month as a part of our duties. And we nominated a resident engineer from our office that, that had to be approved by the owner to follow up and keep things under control. So this was a and this part is all glass, open to the outside. So, of course, glass all the way down here. So, so I think a drawing would probably not easy to draw before. But this was all designed in our office, and it was structurally perfect. Can you talk about concrete as a material? You were interested in concrete as a new material. Of course, the concrete in the area was used, but that uh, it was new in this area at this period. I've designed some houses ahead of that in Mosul, and the brick and use concrete. That's it's a simple, straight concrete. 
But this, I felt, it is uh, just not to be uh, just simple forward concrete. It has to have another dimension and depth in the history of the culture of the area because the, the part of Muslim is very rich in agriculture. It used to provide uh, Iraq the highest uh, product for wheat and things like that. So people with tents and all of that. And in the area in, this, in the spring, people go out in the country and make a private uh, tents and uh, enjoy this, this uh, weather. It, is, uh, it, it has a, a it has a song which I forgot about about, about Muslim. Yes. But the Muslim, of course, uh, is like I mentioned before, is the, his, the deeper historical is the Syrian. Of course, that was a time when the stone was really the building material. But they continue to be the material. But here in this hospital, we felt uh, concrete. Uh, 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 we cannot use thick walls and all of that. Concrete is a proper control of projection and climate control and insulation on the roof. And the, rather than uh, plain, and the insulation took sort of a folding to cover, to add to the protection of the